So a lot of people have been asking me the same question. How do you teleport in the sandbox? So today I will be answering that question with a fast and easy tutorial. Enjoy! Today I'm going to be showing you how to teleport in the sandbox. So there's two platforms. There's the red one and then there's the blue one. So if we were to go here and press this button right here, we would teleport to red. And if we click this button, it goes blue. So how we do this is we're going to have, uh, we need four components. So we're going to have concrete, floor, tile, a sign, and a void. Oops, sorry. Let me move it up. There you go, and a numpad. So what this numpad does is it sends it's a button behavior and it sends the message kill player blue to this sign right here. And this indicator just um shows like this message right there. You see go to red. Yeah, that's basically the indicator. But uh the sign then kills the player once it receives the kill player blue message. Um, so once it receives that, it will kill specific tags in range, and the specific tags in range is avatar, which is the player, and um, that's basically the sign, and I, I set the broadcast range to 3, so that it doesn't interfere with this one, and it should be somewhere around this the size of this platform. This concrete floor tile uh, spawns in the checkpoint, so uh, when the player gets killed here, it creates uh, a checkpoint here. And the void behavior, um, it just kills the checkpoint so it doesn't interfere because you cannot have two checkpoints. So if you have a checkpoint here and a checkpoint here, the games get the game gets confused and then don't know where to spawn you. So they'll spawn you in like either one of them. And so you have to delete your checkpoint after you get teleported. So once I press the button, this void behavior, then um, destroy only from list. And the list is the concrete floor tile. Um, which this guy spawns in it spawns it right here and then the void will destroy it and then the red side is basically the same thing so when this numpad switch gets uh, interacted it'll send a message to this sign which the sign will then kill the red player uh or the player that's standing on the on this platform and then the void and concrete let me move them up so the void then oh the concrete then will spawn in once it receives the kill blue message so once this interacts this will spawn in a checkpoint and um the player will get spawned here and then once they click here the void uh will then de delete this checkpoint and then this uh concrete floor tile will spawn in another checkpoint and uh so on and so on so yeah that's basically how to teleport uh let me show you one more time and like oops i think it selected too much move uh we should move the concrete floor tile down because then if we don't it's going to be visible here um this right here well you can make this invisible but then once you spawn in the checkpoint so i go into like here you can see there's a concrete floor tile and we don't really want that so we can move it down into the block which will still well half a block which will still glitch us up above so yeah that's how to teleport in the sandbox uh and a few things i forgot to mention is that uh this concrete floor tile and let's bring it up uh when you create the checkpoint in the middle you have to have um the tag checkpoint right here so when it creates this uh platform or concrete floor tile it will have checkpoint or else the player won't spawn there so make sure that happens and make sure that the death delay is negative two so go into global parameters controller components and then in here the death delay right now it's at zero um well actually it's at negative two but for you it might be at zero uh change that to negative two or else it won't work so uh if you change negative two then you can see it's instant but if you were to leave it at zero, it won't even work because it takes too long for the player to die. And the checkpoint is already like, uh, hasn't been destroyed yet. So if we could go to red, uh, it worked. But sometimes it happens like this. Um, it doesn't teleport you. So you have to set it to um, negative two to make it instant. Like this. There you go. And but the downside of this uh, is that when there's like uh when if your game has like obstacles you have to go through like lava uh, pretend 
like this and we were going to global parameters and uh components and we're going to add like a damaging block like lava like so and make this 100 so like when the player hits lava they just like get teleported back like this that's the one downside of having teleportation in your game is that when you have like anything you want the player to die from it doesn't look as dramatic and it doesn't make the game feel like uh like you actually died it feels like more like you just teleported back so that's one downside of teleportation because sandbox hasn't added the featuring yet but in the future they will so we won't have to do this anymore but yeah this is basically teleportation in the sandbox as of now and i hope you found this helpful see you